Psalms 119 verse 1. Zaburi 119 aya ya kwanza. Blessed are the undefiled in the way. Heri wale walio waadilifu katika njia zao. Who walk in the law of the Lord. Wa nao enenda katika sheria ya Bwana. Again blessed are the undefiled in the way. Heri wale walio waadilifu katika njia zao. Who walk in the law of the Lord. Wanaenenda katika sheria ya Bwana. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. Heri wale wanazozishika shuhuda zake. Who seek him with the whole heart. Wamtafutao wamtafutao kwa moyo wao wote. They also do no iniquity. Wasiofanya lolote lililo baya. But they walk in his ways. Wanaenenda katika njia zake. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Umetoa maagizo yako ili tuyatii kwa ukamilifu. Oh that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Laiti mwenendo wangu umekuwa imara katika kuyatii maagizo yako. Then I would not be ashamed. Hivyo mimi sitaibishwa. When I look into all your commandments, I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I'll keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. Nitayati maagizo yako usiniache kabisa I want us to know that um, God desires everyone that calls upon his name Mungu anatamani yeyote aliitiaye jina lake to walk uprightly before him atembea akiwa mnyofu mbele zake We have seen men who have walked with God in the scriptures tumeona watu waliotembea na Mungu kupitia maandiko and we have testimonies of what God did in their lives na tuna shuhuda za kile Mungu alifanya maishani mwao Enoch walked with God Enoch akatembea pamoja na Mungu and he was no more na hakupatikana tena because God took him maana Mungu alimchukua Noah walked with God Nuhu akatembea na Mungu and when the entire generation of his time perished in the flood Noah and his family survived Wakati Mungu aliharibu kizazi cha wakati wake Nuhu na jamii yake walihifadhiwa Abraham walked with God Abraham akatembea na Mungu And many other people in the Bible na Watu wengi katika Biblia You study their lives Unaangalia maisha yao in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 you will see the 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 things that God did in their lives the testimonies that he wrote through their lives that's why Hebrews 11 verse number 2 says for by faith the elders obtained good testimony wazee walipata habari njema for by faith kwa sababu kupitia imani the elders wazee received walipokea obtained walipata good testimonies ushuhuda mzuri god himself testifying of their works mungu mwenyewe akishuhudia kazi zao the life of abel verse 4 
Maisha ya habiri msari wa nne. The Bible says by faith. Biblia inasema kwa imani. Abel offered to God. Abiri akatoa sadaka nzuri. A more excellent sacrifice. Sadaka iliyokuwa inapendeza Cain. Kuliko Kaini. Through which kupitia he obtained. Akapokea witness. Heshuhuda that he was righteous. Ya kwamba alikuwa mwenye haki. God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. Testifying. Akashuhudia. God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. Testifying. Akashuhudia. Of his gifts kwa sababu ya, ya, ya kipawa chake God himself Mungu mwenyewe testify akashuhudia Can God testify of you Je Mungu anaweza akashuhudia kukuhusu In all that we are doing are we setting up good standards and good testimonies Kwa yale yote tunayoyafanya kila siku Je tunainua viwango na shuhuda nzuri Do angels testify of your day to day walk with God Je malaika hushuhudia kutembea kwako siku baada ya nyingine na Mungu Abel habiri walked with God akatembea na Mungu by faith kwa imani he understood his precepts akaelewa mwenendo wake without a preacher bila kuhubiriwa na mtu without a prophet bila nabii without a pastor bila mchungaji without a bible bila biblia kusoma without any other person giving a testimony bila mtu mwingine yeyote akumshuhudia But he developed a sensitive spirit. Lakini akakuza roho ya kuweza kumakinika to know what is evil and what is right. Ili atofautishe mabaya na mazuri. Because God has built in us. Kwa sababu Mungu ameumba ndani yetu a system of recognition. Ameweka namna ya kutambua According to the book of Romans Kupitia kitabu cha Warumi Our God Mungu wetu has put in us Ameweka ndani yetu His word neno lake His precepts njia zake His laws sheria zake that we can know Tunaweza tukazijua without anybody telling us Bila mtu yote kutuambia For since the creation of the world kwa sababu kupitia his invisible attributes uwezo wake ambao hauonekani clearly seen inaonekana wazi wazi being understood ikieleweka by the things that are made even his eternal power and godhead so that they are without excuse verse 20 Mstari wa 20 Warumi sura ya kwanza. Nasema kwa maana tangu kuumbwa kwa ulimwengu asili ya Mungu asiye isiyoonekana kwa macho, yani uweza wake wa milele na asili yake ya uungu imeonekana waziwazi ikitambuli, ikitambuliwa kutokana na yale ya aliyoyafanya ili wanadamu wasiwe na udhuru. since creation kwa tangu maumbile since creation tangu maumbile so you can't say i didn't know kwa hivyo uwezi ukasema na ukadai ya kwamba haujui since creation tangia maumbile he says for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes kwa tangu kumbu clearly seen tangu kumbwa kwa ulimwengu asili ya Mungu asiyeonekana kwa macho all the attributes of god asili yake Mungu yote tabia zake tabia zake mienendo zake mm-hmm. maudhia yake madhumuni yake mahitaji yake makusudi yake hata kama hatumuoni lakini amehakikisha hayo mambo yote yameandikwa katika nafsi ya kila mmoja wetu. Oh yes. Amen. Ili kusiwe na yeyote mm-hmm. atakaye toa vijisababu ama udhuru 
wa kusema a si kujua tutakaposimama mbele za uso wa Bwana nataka ufahamu hivi hautamwambia si kujua kwa sababu hata kama haukuhubiriwa na mwanadamu nafsi yako na dhamira yako your own personal conscience reaches to you wewe binafsi dhamiri yako inakuhubiria i say your own conscience dhamiri yako mwenyewe it is either accusing you or excusing you either inakuhukumu ama inakuacha huru that scripture hayo ni maandiko you can never give an excuse hawezi ukatoa visababu so look at a friend and tell them you have no excuse ya ukia jirani yako mwambie hauna visababu but to walk in his statutes ila tu kutembea katika sheria zake People are playing games. Watu wanacheza michezo. Thinking that they can live outside God's presence. Wakifikiria wanaweza wakaishi nje ya uwepo wa Mungu. David in Psalms 139 he says where can I hide from your presence? Daudi katika Zaburi 139 akasema Mungu naweza nikajificha wapi kutoka kwa uwepo wako? Psalms 139. Zaburi 139. Where can I hide from your presence? Naweza nikajificha wapi katika uwepo wako? Where can I go from your spirit? Naweza nikakimbia wapi katika roho yako? Where can I flee from your presence? Naweza nikapotelea wapi kutoka kwa uwepo wako? Where? Wapi? Where can I flee? Wapi naweza nikakimbia? He says verse number 8, if I ascend into heaven, you are there. Kama nikienda juu mbinguni, wewe uko. If I make my bed in hell behold even in hell you are there Nikifanya vilindi kuwa kitanda changu wewe uko huko pia He says if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea even there even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me hata mkono wako wa kuume utaniongoza. If I say surely the darkness shall fall on me. Nikisema giza itanifuata. Even night shall be light about you. Hata usiku utakuwa nuru kwako. That's why Jesus says. Yesu akasema hivi. Whatever you do under the bed. Chochote ambacho unafanya chini ya kitanda. It shall be uttered on top of the rooftops. Ika itafunuliwa juu ya dari ya nyumba. There's nothing you do. Hakuna kitu ambacho unafanya. That cannot be revealed. Ambacho hakiwezi kikafunuliwa. Indeed the darkness shall not hide from you. Hata giza haitajificha kwako. But the night shines as the day. Lakini nuru yako inangusika na ngano. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. Usiku na mchana zote ni sawa kwako. For you formed my inward parts. Maana uliumba ndani yangu. You formed my inward parts. Ulitengeneza ndani yangu kila kitu. He is the one that made your brain. He is the one that made your in, in, intellect. He is the one who makes your thoughts. He is able to read your thoughts. Even from far. That's what he says. I can read your thoughts from far. For there is no word on my tongue but behold O Lord you know it all together. Kwa sababu kabla neno lolote halijafika katika ulimi wangu wewe walijua kikamilifu e Bwana. There is no word on my tongue. Hakuna neno katika ulimi wangu that is hidden from you. Ambalo limefichika kwako. Therefore I will praise you. Kwa hivyo nakusifu. For I am fearfully. Kwa sababu nimeumbwa. And wonderfully. Med marvelous are your works. Nimeumbwa kwa kutisha na maajabu ikaze mikono yako. Na hiyo that na hiyo 
that na hiyo my soul nafsi yangu knows very well yajua vyema kabisa my soul nafsi yangu knows very well inajua vizuri sana so don't don't cheat yourself usijidanganye even your own soul hata nafsi yako mwenyewe knows it inajua so when you wake up in the morning and begin to think things unapamka asubuhi na unaanza kuwaza mambo Even before the thoughts dropped in your mind God knew they are coming. Hata kabla mawazo yale hayajaingia katika moyo wako Mungu alijua inakuja iko njiani. When Cain intended to kill his brother. Cain alipokusudia kuua ndugu yake. God, Mungu, saw it. Aliona before he even conspired it. Kabla hata hajaitunga. And God said to Cain. Na Mungu akamwambia Cain, something is happening. Kuna kitu kinatendeka. In your mind. Katika mawazo yako. Please. Fatherly. Don't allow it. Usiruhusu. Resist it. Ipinge. Why are you angry and why has your countenance fallen? Je, mbona umekasirika na uso wako umekunjamana? If you do well, will you not be accepted? Je, ukifanya vizuri hautakubalika? And if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. Na kama hutatenda mema dhambi ya kuotea mlangoni. Sin lies at the door. Dhambi ya kuotea mlangoni. It had not entered his heart. Haikuwa imeingia moyoni mwake. Sin had not entered his heart. Dhambi haikuwa imeingia moyoni mwake. It is out there at the door. Ilikuwa pale nje ya mlango. And God warned him he said please. Na Mungu akasema tafadhali. Each desire is Ki, for you. Kila shauku but you should yako. rule over it. Lakini lazima utaitawala. Dhambi inakutamani. Mhm. Kujanisikia. Mungu alimwambia Cain dhambi inakutamani wewe. Dhambi inakutamani. Sio wewe unaitamani, dhambi ndio inakutamani wewe. Na Mungu akamshauri akamwambia sikiza Cain. Ebu tawala hiyo kitu. Tawala. Chukua usukani ukitawale. Oh yes. Hii unafika kanisani lazima ikwishe. Geukie mwenzako umwambie Ebu tawala hiyo kitu inayokutamani. Hebu tawala hicho kitu kinakutamani. Sio wewe unayetamani mwanamke, ni dhambi inayokutamani wewe. Sio wewe unayetamani mme wa mwenzako, ni dhambi inayokutamani wewe. Sio wewe unayetamani pesa za mtu, lakini dhambi inakutamani wewe. Unaweza kwa Roho Mtakatifu kutawala hiyo kitu. Inua mkono wako sema Bwana nisaidie nitawale dhambi. Unaposikia tamaa ya chochote. Ujue katika nia zako na katika akili yako. Sio wewe unayetamani hiyo kitu. Sio wewe. Dhambi ndiyo inakutamani. Imeona wewe ni chakula yake. Imeona wewe ndiyo mwasiri wa wake. You are going to be the victim of sin. Utakuwa mwadhiriwa wa dhambi. Maana dhambi ya jua hivi ya kwamba mshahara wa dhambi mauti. ni mauti mshahara mm. wa dhambi ni mauti 
Nataka nikwambie hivi, Mungu hana shida kukubariki. Hana shida kabisa. Hana shida kabisa. Si lazima ufanye chochote ndio akubariki. Ni wewe utawale mwili wako. Tawala dhambi. Tawala akili mbaya. Tawala hizo tamaa. Uone vile Mungu atakutendea. Tamaa ni ya kipindi kifupi sana. Ikisha timiza ladha yake ndani yako inakuacha. Umenisikia? Ajoe si hizi injili ya kanisani sikuizi. Injili ya kanisa sikuizi pokea. Na kila mtu anasema I receive. Mm. What are you receiving? Unapokea nini? <laughs> Hawa. What are you receiving? Wapokea nini? <laughs> Walk uprightly before him. Tembea kwa kwa unyofu mbele yake. Meditate daily on his word. Tafakari kila siku neno lake. And you shall be like a tree. Na utakuwa kama mti. That is planted by the water side. Ambao umepandwa kando ya mto. Whose leaves will never wither. Matawi yake haitanyauka. That bears fruit. Lakini na In season and out of season. Wakati wa majira na usio majira. And when you do that. Ukifanya hivyo. You shall prosper. Utastawi. Geuke mwenzako mwambie hakuna kutafuta nyota kokote nyota ni wewe ujitafute Kain dhambi inakuotea Na imekaa hapo mlangoni Ebu tawala tawala hiyo kitu tawala geukea dada mwenzako mwambie tawala dada tawala, tawala ndugu tawala hiyo kitu tawala hiyo kitu tawala tawala kanuni za bwana ni adimu na ni adilifu. Adimu manake zina usiri wake. Na zina kanuni zake. Ukashika amri za Bwana. Hatuzungumzi kuhusu amri kumi. Agano jipya ambayo Kristo Yesu ndio mjumbe wake he is the advocate of the new covenant yeah, and he is the mediator of the new covenant na yeye ndiye mpatanishi wa gada jipya he came to accomplish everything that was written from the days of abel till today alikuja kukamilisha yale yaliyoandikwa kutoka wakati wa hadithi hata leo the laws that moses was given hata kujumuisha hata sheria ambazo Musa alipatiwa. The difference with the Old Testament laws Utafauti sasa wa Agano na Kale. that they were physical. They Zip. were on paper or they were written on the tablets. Zip. But God said that I will now write my laws inside your heart. Zilikuwa zimeandikwa kwa viji, kwa, 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 kwa vibao lakini Mungu maandiko yasema kwamba ataviandika katika mioyo yetu sasa. Na kuziandika katika moyo wako ndio inasema David akizungumza anasema hata moyo wangu wajua hiyo sasa. Mm-hmm. Wow. John chapter 2 Biblia inasema kwamba nitakupatia Roho Mtakatifu na itafika mahali ambapo haitahitaji mtu akwambie jua Mungu. First John chapter 2. Waraka wa kwanza wa Yohana sura ya pili. For this anointing will be in you. This unction. 
kwa sababu hukuishwa but the anointing ye. which you have received lakini upako ambao umeupokea look at two people and tell them you carry the anointing mwambie unabeba upako this anointing is not oil sio mafuta i say this anointing is not oil who pako sio yale mafuta ya kuonekana stop being stupid wacha kuwa mpumbavu give me that one nipatie haya maji geukia mwenzako wacha kuwa mpumbavu usio mpumbavu Ajo jinga umekolea kanisani. But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. Lakini nyinyi mmetiwa mafuta na yeye aliye mtakatifu nanyi na anakana. And you do not need that anyone teach you but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things mm. and this anointing is true okay. and okay. it's not a lie now and I'm just I'm as it has taught you you will abide in it na kama vile imekufunza utadumu ndani yake he says the same anointing teaches you concerning how many things all things so what do you need in this life you need the holy spirit you need the anointing of the holy spirit and he is the teacher jesus said in the book of john i will not leave you comfortless i will send you the holy spirit he is your comforter he will receive that which is of mine and he will teach you those things he is your educator When a pastor comes here like I have come I will not teach you anything you don't know I will only affirm what is in your spirit Nitatia tu muhuri kile ambacho iko ndani ya roho yako I will never teach you anything new. If you are sensitive in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. As I preach. As I teach. I will be affirming. Some things he taught you in the morning. Don't you know that you can go to church. If you spend ample time in prayer. Early in the morning. You come to church. What the Holy Holy Spirit told you when you are praying is what your pastor is coming to teach is the same songs that the praise and worship will be singing that is a man or a woman who is sensitive in the Holy Spirit Oh kayara mahasa. Oh thank you Jesus. So David, Daudi, writing in the scripture we have read. Akiandika mahali ambapo tumepasoma. He says, akasema, Blessed are the undefiled. Heri wale ambao hawaja hawajanajisika. Heri wale ambao hawajanajisika katika njia za Bwana katika njia za Heri blessings come because you are undefiled Baraka huja kwa sababu haujanajisika The only stoppage 
in your spiritual walk with God that stops divine blessing is the way you live and relate with God. Kile ambacho kinazuilia na kinakuwa kizuizi ni wakati wewe kinazuilia baraka za Mungu ni wakati njia zako hazienani vizuri na Mungu na baraka hizo huja kupitia vile unavyokabiliana na Mungu. Blessed are the undefiled in the way. Kheri wale ambao hawajanajisiwa njiani mwao. Who walk in the law of the Lord. Wanaotembea katika sheria za Bwana. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies. Kheri wale wazishikao shuhuda zake. His testimonies. Shuhuda zake. This book is full of the testimonies of God. Kitabu hiki kimejaa na shuhuda zake Mungu. There is no challenge you will go through. Hakuna changamoto utakayoipitia. That God has not prescribed a solution in the scriptures. Ambayo Mungu hajapeana namna ya kukabiliana nayo katika maandiko. Because nothing strange will you pass through. Kwa sababu kuna kitu kigeni ambacho utapitia. All that you experience in this life. Kile ambacho unapitia katika maisha haya. Your brotherhood somewhere else. Ndugu yako mahali pengine has passed through it. Aliipitia. That's why first Peter chapter chapter 5 from verse number 7 or let's say from verse number 8 he says be vigilant. Ndio kwa sababu waraka wa kwanza wa Petero sura ya 5 kuanzia mstari wa 8 inasema ya kwamba na tuweze kuwa macho. Be sober. Tuweze kuwa na because your adversary the devil. Kwa sababu adui ambaye about. Anatembea hapa na is prowling about. Anaguruma hapa na He is walking everywhere. Anatembea kila mahali. Like a roaring lion. Kama simba agurumai. Seeking whom he may devour. Akitafuta atakaye rarua. And Bible says. Na Biblia sema, resist him. Mpinge. Resist him. Mpinge. Steadfastly in faith. Mkiwa dhabiti katika imani. Knowing that the same sufferings kijua kwamba mateso kama are experienced yapatika yaliwa by your brotherhood in the world. Ndugu zenu wote katika duniani pote. People have passed through what you are passing through. Watu wamepitia kile ambacho unapitia siku ya leo. And God has recorded the testimonies. Na Mungu amenakili shuhuda zao. Of how they survived it. Ya vile ambavyo walivyopitia. And if you follow the ways of the Lord. Na kama utazifata njia za Bwana. God will do exactly the same. Mungu atafanya hivyo hivyo kwako. Shout amen. Sema amina. Resist him steadfastly. Mpinge kidhabiti in faith. Katika imani. Brethren, we are living in a very bad world today. Wapendo tunaishi katika dunia ambayo ni mbaya sana. And the devil is doing everything. Na shetani anafanya kila kitu for you to sell your faith. Ili wewe uweze kuuza imani yako. Everything. Kila kitu. I was told. Niliambiwa that the proponents of the global uh, new world order systems they are now buying especially christians sasa nikaambiwa kwamba hasa ule muundo ama hasa vile wanavyojitayarisha kwa sababu ya kutawala dunia yote wananunua wa kristo our young people are being bought to go into lgbt sasa vijana wetu sasa wananunuliwa waingia hasa katika zile tabia ambazo haziruhusiki maisha ya ushoga na ulawiti maisha ya ushoga na ulawiti even in the church hata kanisani even in the praise and worship team hata wakuni cha sifa na kuabudu actually these are the most targeted people kwa kweli hawa ndio ambao ni lengo lao kubwa mno because as they preach or sing and dance they are spreading the spirits of lgbt 
Kwa sababu wanaporuka hapa mbele wanaimba wanaachilia maroho ya ushoga na ulawiti kwa umati. Pastors on the target. Wachungaji pia wanalengwa. Their wives are on the target. Hata wake zao ni lengo. Leaders deacons are on the target. Mashamazi kanisani pia wanalengwa because they carry influence. Kwa sababu wanabeba mshawishiko. They can influence the women, they can influence the men, they can influence the youth. Wanaweza wakashawishi vijana, wakashawishi wanawake, wakashawishi wanaume. With a morsel of bread, many people are selling their birthrights. Bakuli tu ya, ya, ya ndengu, watu wengi wanauza haki yao ya kuzaliwa ya, ya, ya uzaliwa wa kwanza. What will it benefit you? Itakufaidi nini? To gain the whole world. Upata dunia yote and lose your life. Na upoteza maisha yako. Eternally in hell na ukae e, kule kuzimu milele Psalms 119 verse 5 he says all that my ways were directed to keep your statutes Mstari wa 5 laiti mwenendo wangu ungekuwa imara katika then i would not be ashamed when i look into your commandments Hivyo mimi sita sta, sita sitaibishwa Ninapo zingatia amri zako zote. Because I will praise you with uprightness of heart. Nitakusifu kwa moyo mnyofu. So what we have to understand is that everything that is happening in the world is pre-programmed. Sasa tukile tutapaswa kujua ni ya kwamba kile kinatendeka duniani ni kitu ambacho kimetayarishwa hapo mbeleni. And that's why God is putting heavier and heavier burdens upon the actual apostles of God to declare the righteous ways of God Ndiyo to Mungu, the believers. Ndiyo Mungu sasa anatuweka mzigo mkubwa kwa mitume wake wa mwisho wa sasa ili watangazie kanisa habari za haki zake. So that we get out of stupor and and uh, slumber ili tutoe katika hali ya kulala na hali ya the hour is far spent lisa limesonga mno it is time for you to awake from sleep sasa ni wewe uamke kwa usingizi wako and begin to prepare yourself unaanza kujitayarisha for the coming of the lord of, the lord of lords kwa sababu ya kuja kwa bwana wa mabwana god has set up his statutes mungu ameweka sheria zake because when god created the universe for it to operate he made sure that he had put certain laws and certain universal principles that will govern the earth Mungu alipoumba bingu dunia alitengeneza sheria fulani na muundo fulani utakaoitawala na kuiongoza ardhi There are kingdom laws and there are universal laws kuna sheria za kiufalme na kuna sheria za dunia the universal laws are like the law of gravity the law of light the law of sound the law of all these things that we are seeing most of them are being discovered by men the law of electricity the law of electronics the law of neutrons and uh, whatever these things they are, they are using today all this are laws that were created by God. Hizo sheria ambazo watu sasa wanazindua kama kama umeme, kama mwangaza, kama mvuto wa chini. Vitu hivi vyote ni Mungu aliunda. Hata kama watu ndio wanazijua, ziliundwa kitambo zitawale dunia. The satellites in the air are there because somebody discovered the law that will make it hang in the air. Satellite ambazo ziko katika anga juu zaidi, mtu ameweza kugundua, zilikuemo. The transmission of sound through waves that are not even seen by the man's eye is a law of the kingdom sauti vile ambavyo inavyotoka kutoka kiwango kimoja hadi kingine watu wanazigundua zilikuemo ni sheria za kutawala dunia this all these laws were allowed by god to be on earth to govern the life of man hizi vitu vyote sheria zote mungu alizizindua ili ziweze kutawala dunia mtu aweze kuishi nazo and to harmonize the operations of man on the face of the earth na kuweka kwa pamoja na kuleta amani katika dunia 
so that all the elements of the earth may live in harmony. Now, if these things are operational, and we see them, you can call your brother now in Australia and they see his face and talk to him. What is it that is operating? Is a law that God put in the systems discovered by a man. Discovered by man. And we want to elevate these laws above the kingdom statutes and laws that will make your life governable here on earth. Na sasa tunafanya sasa hizo vitu viwe sheria hizo ziwe juu sana kuliko sheria ya, ya neno la Mungu na tunafikia kwamba tutawaona God dunia. created divine laws. Mungu aliumba sheria za kiungu to govern all the citizens of his kingdom. Ili itawana iongoze wa, 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 wa And wa how this man can engage with the spirit world. Na vile ambavyo watu hapa duniani wanaweza wakaweza kujie kukabidhi ulimwengu wa kiroho. The things are operating in the physical. Kuna vitu ambavyo inafanya kazi katika asili. And we see them operating. Na tunaona zikifanya kazi. And all these are governed by certain principles and laws. Na zote zitawaliwa na sheria fulani. Airplanes hanging in the air. Ndege zikiniginia bingeda. And fly many 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 miles. Na zikienda maili nyingi. Carrying 400 passengers. Zinabeba watu 100 Sometimes even up to 600. The other day we had a Concord that was traveling at supersonic speed. From, from Europe to America, it took, takes less than three hours. All these are governed by laws. Now, if man can discover laws that are all able to operate and help our lives and control our lives, I want you to know what God has created for His church, for His citizens is far superior. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. So if God says I'll bless you, he is not requesting you. He's not suggesting it. There is a law that releases that blessing into your life. Mungu akimwambia kwamba nitakubariki, si ati aniwazo anatoa. Kuna sheria itakayofuata hilo neno litimie. You have no argument with gravity. Hawezi ukabishana na mvuto wa chini. You have no suggestion of how it will not do it. Hawezi ukawaza vile ambavyo haitafanya kazi. Except you have a counteractive law. Ila uweza that will counter it. Ila uweza kuwa na uwezo mwingine utakao kataa ianguke. The law of thrust. Nguvu ambazo zitakuweza kuizuilia. That shall overcome it. Itakayo izuilia, itakayo ipinga. Now if you don't have any method to stop what God wants to do. Kama basi hauna njia na mbini ya Then what God has said he will do it. Kile ambacho Mungu amesema atakifanya. If you do what he has said. Ukifanya kile ambacho amesema. Hebu lisa mzako bado huko ama tuache. Bado huko. Wow. Yes, Papa. <laughs> Amen. The kingdom of God operates on divine judicial laws. Ufalme wa Mungu unatembea katika sheria za kiungu. It operates on principles that are judicial. Inatembea katika kanuni ambazo ni za kisheria. On statutes and covenants. Nani agano na sheria zake. That's why verse 9 of the book of Psalms 119. How can a young man cleanse his way? Is by taking heed according to the word of God. He says with my whole heart. 
I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Because your word. I have hidden in my heart. So number one law of a believer's success. Hide the word of God in your heart. Hide the word of God in your heart. Because that word according to Hebrews chapter 4. Is powerful. That word is powerful. That word is living. Is sharper than any two edged sword. Piercing even to the division of soul. And the spirit. And of joints. And of marrow. And is a designer. Of the thoughts. And intents. Of the heart. Verse 13. And there is no creation. No creature. That is hidden from his sight. But all things. Everybody lift your hand and shout all things. I said shout all things. All things. All things. Are naked. And open. To the eyes. Of him to whom we must give account. We give account according to the word of God. So anything you desire in this world. Is not hidden to him. His word will reveal it to you. Lift up your hand and shout again. I need this word. So David is saying your word I have hidden in my heart. Because he hid the word in his heart. David never lost any single battle. He was a shepherd boy. And when because of the word of God in his heart he was raised from being a shepherd boy to become a king of the land. The word of God will elevate you. I say the word of God it will elevate you. Shout amen. Verse 12 Blessed are you O Lord teach me your statutes. Verse 16, I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. What is a statute? Is a written law passed by legislative bodies. It is a law or a sovereign decree made by God. A statute, kingdom statutes according to God are covenants. They are declarations that God has made that are irrevocable. So if God says, I am the Lord that healeth thee, he will heal you. Oh yes. If God says, I will bless you and make you a blessing, it is a decree. It is a statute. It is heavenly written in the books of God. He has written them and before him, he has books that are written even concerning you. David says in Psalms 139 in your books O Lord in your books O Lord everything about me is written. 
And if you don't know what is written about you, na kama haujui kile ambacho kimeandikwa kuhusu, then you will leave. Basi unaishi without knowledge and the devil takes advantage. Bila ufahamu na shetani anakuchukulia. Everybody read with me verse 16. Kila mtu asome pamoja na mimi mstari wa 19. Two, three, go. Your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed and in your book they all were written. The days fashioned for me when as yet there were none of them they were written in the book. Oh yes. Kabla uishi ziliandikwa. They were written in the book. Zilikuwa zimeandikwa kwenye kitabu. So geokea mwenzako mwambie God is never surprised. Mungu hajishangai with your life na maisha yako. The only thing that is happening kile ambacho tu kinatendeka is that the enemy ya kwamba adui knowing what you are akijua wewe ni nani and being threatened na akitishwa by what you are na kile ambacho ulicho I know he doesn't know everything about you najua hajui kila kitu kuhusu but the moment he finds a way to stop you lakini namna wakati tu atajua namna ya kukuzuilia he will make you he make, he'll make sure that you don't know what is written about you in the books atahakikisha wewe hautagundua na hautajua kile ambacho kimeandikwa kwenye vitabu so he gives you alternative methods anakupatia njia ambazo ni za kuchagua njia mbadala badala <laughs> so that you don't pursue what you are supposed to be pursuing ili usifatilie kile ambacho ulipaswa kufuatilia may the lord open your eyes to see hebu mungu afungue macho yako uone what is written about you kile ambacho kimeandikwa kuhusu how do you know what is written about you wajuaje kile ambacho kimeandikwa kuhusu corinthians first corinthians chapter th- chapter 2 verse 9 wa korintho wa kwanza sura ya pili mstari wa 9 that's my favorite scripture everywhere hiyo ndio andiko langu ambalo nalipenda sana kwa the bible says but as it is written i has not seen nor ear heard nor have entered into the heart of any man the things which god has prepared for those who love him verse 9 verse 10 but god has revealed them to us through his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yes the deep things of god That's how you get to know the things that are written for you in the book. Hivyo ndivyo unaanza kupata kujua kile ambacho kimeandikwa kwenye vitabu kuhusu. By you being full of the Holy Spirit. Wewe ukijawa na Roho Mtakatifu. By you relating with God in the Spirit. Wewe ukiweza kukabiliana na Mungu vizuri katika roho. By you walking in the Spirit. Wewe kutembea katika roho. And not gratifying the desires of the flesh. Na usitimize haja na tamaa za mwili. Verse 11. The Bible says Biblia sema Hehe Omer verse 11 For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him even so no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God verse 12 Now we have done what mm-hmm. Come on open your mouth Roho I didn't hear you Now we have received not the spirit of the world mm-hmm. but the spirit who is from god mm-hmm. that we might know the things that have been freely given, given to us by god hallelujah amen that we may know ili tujue look at somebody and tell them god wants you to know yoke mwanzako mwambie mungu anataka ujue the secret things that have been hidden vitu vya siri ambazo zimechukuka zako the tronomy 29 29 the secret things belong to the lord our god kumbukumbu ya torati 29 29 inasema vitu vya siri the things that have been revealed belong to us lakini vitu ambavyo vimefunuliwa ni vyetu belong to us ni vyetu You have no reason to die poor. Hauna sababu ya kufa masikini. Every believer, kila muamini, must be conversant with the statutes of God. Lazima aweze kuwa anaelewa maagizo ya Mungu. 
you must be conversant with the covenants of God. Lazima uweze kuwa unazielewa maagizo yako. You need to know what are God's promises concerning your life. Wapaswa kujua ahadi za Mungu ni gani na maisha. with the small small things. Shetani anatoka na mambo madogo madogo. Hasira fulani huwezi kusamehe fulani sijui nani amekufanyia nini au fulani alifanya sijui fulani amesema sijui kitu gani kimefanyika. I mean what what is it that is keeping you in these things? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. That's what you should keep your eyes focused on. Paswa kuangalia Yesu ambaye ni mwanzilishi na mkamilishi wa imani yako. Hiyo ndiyo unapaswa kuangalia. Say amen. Sema amina. I didn't hear you shout amen. Sema amina. Psalms 74 verse 20. Zaburi. Why must you know and understand and recognize the covenants of God and Bona the statutes of God? Ujielewe na ujue maagizo yake Mungu. Bible says, have respect to the covenant for the dark places of the earth are full of the hounds of cruelty zaburi sabina ne msari wa 20 likumbuke agano lako maana mara kwa mara mambo ya jeuri yamejaa katika sehemu za giza nchini heshimu agano mhm mwenzako mwambie heshimu maagano ya Mungu heshimu maagano ya Mungu kwa sababu sehemu za siri za duniani zimejaa ukatili nagiza nagiza dunia hii imejaa ukatili the secret places the dark places mahali pa siri mahali pa giza they are full of the hounds of cruelty zimejaa na ukatili now what are the dark places what are the dark places of the earth mahali pa giza pa dunia ni wapi the dark places of the earth include the covens of witches pana 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 jumlishwa pamoja na 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 uchawi sorcerers satanists shetani na masonic lodges na roho ya na masonics zile makalu za masons or free masons cultic organizations zile fundisha uongo the organizations that teach people lies mataasisi ambayo inafundisha watu uongo many there are so many we don't have time to mention nyingi hatuna wakati wa kuzitaja false religions mafundisho ndini za uongo and other secret societies na zingine vikundi zingine za kujificha ambazo zinafundisha mafundisho uongo now witchcraft is the most potent and prevalent weapon the devil uses to control people's lives uchawi ndio nguvu na uwezo na mbinu ambao shetani anatumia kutawala watu witchcraft is a manipulation of demonic powers uchawi ni kule kugeuza na kubadilisha kwa nguvu ambazo za kipepo in order to achieve desired satanic purposes ili watimize makusudi na malengo ya shetani i said witchcraft is a manipulation of demonic powers uchawi ni kule kutawala wa nguvu za ki, za kishetani in order to achieve a desired satanic purpose ili itimize makusudi ambayo imetamaniwa na shetani it is an engagement ni kule kukumbana and the projection of evil spirits na kuachilia ile maroho chafu to achieve ili itimize deception udanganyifu diversion and to drive people away from God. Na kupoteza watu na kuwageuza wapotelee wapotee njia za Mungu. Now witchcraft is the satanic legal system. Uchawi ndio ndio mahali ambapo shetani anasimama kisheria. 
he uses that system to counter the laws and the statutes of God. That's what he does. Ezekiel 21 verse, 20, verse 21 We have a story of King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. He employed witchcraft. He employed, he used witchcraft to conquer territories. The Bible says this. Let me just read it because of time. For the king of Babylon stands at the parting of the road, at the fork of the two roads, to use divination, he shakes the arrows, he consults the images, he looks at the lever. In this, in his right hand is the divination of Jerusalem to set up battering rams, to call for a slaughter, to lift the voice with a shouting, to set battering rams against the gates, to heap up a siege mound, and to build a wall. And it will be uh, to them like a false divination in the eyes of those who have sworn oaths with them. But he will bring their iniquity to remembrance that they may be taken. Now, who you mfalmen of Kadnezer? And by alikuwa one of the greatest kings nyakatizile. Ndi aliechukua watu kama kina Danieli, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, na kachukua wafalme wa inchi ya Israeli. Alipo wachukua, aliwapeleka na akaharibu mji wa Jerusalem. Akabomoa hekalu. Akabeba vitu za hekalu. Akapeleka Babylon. Alitumia mbinu gani ili kushinda inchi ambayo mungu mwenyewe alisema ya kwamba taifa la Israeli ni taifa langu walikuwa na maagano ya Mungu covenant of god hili taifa lilikuwa na the greatest temple in the city ambayo Mungu mwenyewe alisema hapo mahali nimepatua kuwa mahali pangu yeyote atakaye kuwa na shida ama kutakapokuwa na njana matatizo na tauni katika nchi iwapo mtu yeyote ataangalia hili hekalu na akaniuliza hata popote atakapokuwa duniani akiangalia hekalu hili mimi Mungu nitajibu maombi yake mji ambao Mungu mwenyewe ameweka vidole vyake ameweka signature yake this is my land Zion is my city Zion mji wangu lakini mfalme wa Babiloni aliamua atateka mji wa Jerusalem Tumesoma alichukua ubashiri uchawi juu ya Jerusalem na akatumia liver liver ni nini maini akachukua mishale akaziweka katika podo la kubeba mishale za uta akasimama katika njia panda na biblia nasema akaanza kuchukua uh, utabiri kinyume cha mji wa Jerusalem akitumia uchawi aliangalia katika katika inaitwa nini hiyo uh, liver katika Maini. Maini. Kuna makabila hapa Kenya hata sasa wakati wanataka kutabiri mambo wanatumia maini. Wanachinja ngombe, wanatoa ndani maini, wanaiweka katika bakuli alafu wanacheza nayo wakiizungumzia maneno. Vitu itaanza kufanyika katika hiyo maini. Maana ni nguvu za uchawi. Wakitaka kulani kitu wanatumia hiyo akachukua 
podo la mishala kaweka ndani na kaanza kutabiri ya kwamba kutakuwa na battering rams so akaanza kutabiri ya kwamba Jerusalemi mutashikwa mutawekwa mateka Ma, nitatuma watu watagonga hiyo hiyo ukuta zenu zitabomolewa nitawateka mateka na anazungumza na anatumia uchawi a covenant people of god walibebwa mateka kwa sababu gani hawakuheshimu agano la bwana hawakutembea katika njia alizowaagiza hawakutenda jinsi vile Mungu alivyokusudia maisha ni mwao na kwa sababu walidharau njia za Bwana Biblia inasema uchawi wa Babiloni uliwateka so witchcraft is not a joke chawi sio mchezo Hawa jamaa hawana mzaha na hawachezi. Wako kwa kazi na wako na mbinu zao zimepangwa vizuri. Sheria zao ni kali. Hawachezi. Akiambiwa wewe leo ni watu kumi utaleta watakufa hapa barabarani na hakuna hakuna kitu ambayo inasababisha ajali. Mkristo akiambiwa nenda leta nafsi kwa Kristo. Ah, hiyo ni kazi ya bishop. These guys don't joke. These guys don't joke. Geuke mwenzako mwambie unawindwa. Ni neema ya Kristo inayokuweka. That's why many believers are resisted and they don't know why they are being resisted. Ndio kwa sababu wapendwa wengi wanapingwa lakini hawajui wanapingwa kwa ajili gani. That's why Nabukadnez alishinda mji wa Mungu. Akawateka mateka. Akabomoa hekalu. Akabeba masanduku ya agano na vitu vya kutumika katika hekalu la Mungu. Akabeba. Akaenda navyo. Na hakuna kitu kilifanyika. akabeba kina Daniel Shadrach Meshach na mafalme akawabeba manabii akabeba kina Ezra kina Nehemiah walibebwa akaenda kwa sababu ya kutotii na kuheshimu agano la Mungu mahali pasiri pamejaa ukatili ya uovu the plans schemes and strategies the enemy has against you Only the hand of God can keep you and the blood of Jesus if you are living right the blood of Jesus will keep you Ile ukahaba na ile usherati ambao shetani sasa anatumia kuleta kanisani ni hali ya juu sana anaua watu wengi sana kiroho wanakaa ndani ya kanisa lakini hakuna kitu ndani yao Hakuna. Ni kelele tupu. Ni maombi kufunga kuamini neno la Mungu, kutembea katika njia za Mungu, kutii maagano ya Kristo, kuheshimu damu ya Kristo aliyoimwaga msalabani na neno la uzima alilolituma maana alisema utaishi katika neno langu utajua ukweli na huo ukweli utakuweka huru ukiishi namna hiyo hautaibika maisha and everybody shout amen na kila mtu aseme amen sit down tukarichini job chapter 5 ayubu sura yake ya 5 verse 19 He shall deliver you in six troubles. I want you to say amen. Amen. He shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven no evil shall touch you. In famine he shall redeem you from death. Amen. In war 
He shall redeem you from the power of the sword. Amen. You shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Amen. You shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. Amen. You shall laugh at the destruction and in famine. Amen. You shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Amen. For you shall have a covenant with the stones of the field. Amen. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with you. Amen. You shall know that your tent is peace. Amen. Is in peace. You shall visit your dwelling. Amen. And find nothing amiss. Amen. You shall also know that your descendants shall be many. Amen. And your offspring like the grass of the earth. Amen. You shall come to the grave at a full age. Amen. As a sheaf of grain ripens in the season. Amen. Behold, this is your portion. Amen. For we have searched it out, and it is true. Amen. Hear it and know for yourself. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. I say clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. I say clap your hands and celebrate the Lord. Shandebo kaya la babosa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In famine, you shall celebrate. When everybody goes hungry, you shall have food plenty. In your house, in your storehouse, in the name of Jesus, may the supernatural hand of God be evident in your life. The glory of Jehovah shine upon you. Arise and shine. For the glory of Jesus is upon you. Shout yes. I said shout yes. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Oh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Everybody jump. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. stand up as we lift our tithes, our offerings to the Lord 
in the name of Jesus. Let me bless you and pray for you right now in the name of Jesus. If you gave using your phone, lift up together with your phone in the name of Jesus. Lift it high above. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, we do exalt and magnify your name for giving us opportunity that we be in the house to be blessed and to give so that we may tap into the kind the kind of grace that you are releasing upon us. I thank you because you are making all grace abound towards each one of us. That we having all sufficiency may be able to give always towards every good work. I speak blessing in every area of our giving. I rebuke the devourer. I rebuke every power of the enemy that impoverishes the church. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, may favor pursue your people. To the glory of your name in Jesus name. Amen. When visiting Kisumu City, join Bishop Mark Kigohi at Jesus Celebration Center next to the Kisumu National Polytechnic for our Grace Hour and Sunday services. For more information, visit us online. We thank the partners and friends of Redeemer's Voice Media 